Hey guys, Dustin here. Welcome back to our The Room 2 walkthrough. Uh, this is the second chapter here at the, uh, in the boat, while also manipulating the boat. Let's check out this. Okay, foremast, crow's nest, cannon. So, let's back out, go to the crow's nest. All right, got a small golden key. Let's, go, let's check out the cannons. Looky there, all right. So, okay, make note of the Triforce looking triangle there with the bottom triangle top Triforce piece. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever. Uh, no, I don't, I don't want to look at that. Hold on. I want to check out this note. That looks like, yeah, okay. That story. We're going to slide this gem here. All right. Highlighted the treasure chest here. Let's look at this. Mm. Come back to me. Come back to me. There we go. All right. Now we have our second triangle highlighted there. So the bottom one is pointing in towards the uh, middle. The left one is pointing in towards the middle. Strange cylinder. Let's take a closer look at this cylinder. A lot of the objects in this game can be manipulated after they're put into your inventory, so it's a good idea to look at them. Down here, all right, there you go. There's our third triangle. All of, all of them have triangles in the middle, all of which pointing towards the middle. All right, can these be? Yep. All right. So this one, we know, I'm going to point in the middle, okay, towards the middle, okay, and towards the middle, and that should fit our key here, or rather allow our key to fit in here. So we're going to turn that, open the lid, okay, well, first thing I see is this piece that slides up in the top right. So I'm going to open that. We're going to look at it with our lens. I'm going to slide these over. Spin. All right. So it looks like we got one quarter of this figured out. Put this with our lens. We're going to spin this. All right. So... How about this? Is there a switch? Okay. Let's look up here. Right. We're trucking right along. Okay, now this piece will now fit directly in here. Give that a twistaroo. That pops open. Alright, this is the map section of this puzzle. So let's see, we race north two miles, west two miles, and then we headed back south three miles. So let's see, was that north first? Yeah, north two, west two, south three. So one, two, one, two, one, two, three. All right, 
let's take a look at this. All right, we have a key, so let's make this keyhole. Keep on sliding, okay. And boom. Insert our key. All right, now let's read. Four west, four north, west two. So four west, four north, west two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Hit the button. All right. Now you can see this looks kind of rainbowy. Uh, not to be confused with David Bowie. So we look at that with our lens. We're going to move this until... Yeah. Ooh, almost. That was almost perfect. Come on. All oh, right. He gave it to me. There's a little bit of uh, leniency there from the, the game. All right, now let's see. Six south, east, two, north, one. Six south, east, two, north, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one. What do we got here? Oh, <laughs> bust. Okay, that's gonna go on the model ship. And that closed up, so we're done with that. All right. A ship wheel, so we're gonna go up here. Place it on there and give it a spin. Move this. And move this. Now, I don't know if you noticed the uh, rainbow pattern on the uh, sail up there. But we're going to back out a little and give that a look-see with our lens. And it says rose. So we're going to come down here. R O S. That gives us our second gem here. So we're going to go to the slide puzzle here. Well, it's not really a puzzle, but the slide mechanism. I guess it's a better term for it. And that is going to highlight this table here. All right. So we're going to pick up this weight. And we're going to place it on this scale here. Okay, open this up. That reveals that disc-shaped hole, and we get a disc here. So we're going to come over here. I don't know if you saw that drawer over there on the left, but that'll come into play later. All right, that's going to give us second weight and our second disc so we're going to back out place the weight on the scale it's going to reveal our second indentation Oop, I forgot to zoom in first okay there we go I don't think it matters what order you do this in, as long as the uh, all the slots get filled. All right. So this weight, if you notice, had a uh, an arrow on it. So a second arrow. You just line these up. Change the shape. You also have these that you slide, and this will allow us to open that drawer over there. 
Make sure that these... Try to make these look like corners. Because the uh, corners of the, the drawer that we're going to open are going to fit through the, the, the black spaces. Or the darker spaces, rather. And that should be good. Yeah, see, it's clear now. So we can open this. Get our third disc. Um, okay, yeah, let's place our triangular weight that we have now. Yes. All right. Open tower, third indentation. Whoops. Zoom in first. All right. So we're going to place this one in. Spin it around. Place this one in. Okay. So we'll take that out. You'll notice the rim of this has a, an arrow on it. We're going to match it up with this arrow. That is our... Uh, is that our fourth disc? These have arrows on it. So you clearly just push those up. And we have that weight. So we're gonna come over here. And no, okay. I was thinking of a different weight. Here we go. Place that here. Our final indentation. Okay. Uh, okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna spin it around. And then it'll fit right in there. Gives our final weight, which is actually our final two weights. Not to be confused with Tom weights. So small weight goes here. Larger weight goes here. And that part of the puzzle is finished. So now, we're going to take the anchor and the spring. Now the anchor, as you probably already figured out, is going to go on the model ship right here. It's going to give us this metal star. And I believe that's the final thing we have to do on the model ship. Everything else is going to be centered around this box here. Um, let's see here. I guess the first thing I'll do is I'll put the metal star in if, after I zoom in. I make that mistake a lot. Okay, now we can open this up. First, we're going to come over here, manipulate these slides. That's going to give us a screwdriver. All right, what else do we got? We need to go into the device itself. I think it's a clock. Yeah, it looks like a clock. And we're going to open it up. Okay. Now we're going to use our screwdriver. And place in the spring. No? Nope. Oh, I don't think it was open all the way. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So the spring's in. Uh, but let's see. We need a winding key. And we get that. Ah, yeah, here we go. Here. So it's back out. Back in. And wind it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm 
All right, now that the device is working, uh, the clock, let's look at this rainbow part. Slide it in now that the uh, gears are moving. It tells us to turn the clock to 1050. Excuse me, 250. I know numbers. So I'm uh, I'm touching the the very middle part, the where the two hands meet to manipulate this. 250. That looked more like 251, but I think the game was being gracious with me. Yep. That gives us a key. I'm going to place the key right here on the top of the box. Give it a spin. Alright, now let's look at this with our lens. Real, real basic slide and puzzle. You just spin the uh, circles until it makes a picture. Mm, okay. Easy. Tease it. There we go. That gives us this diamond-shaped object. And I believe that part of the puzzle is finished. Yes. So now we're going to go to this middle piece. Insert our diamond. That gives us our box. And that gives us our way out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's chapter two of The Room 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And I will catch you next video. Peace out.